You. Yeah, you. Not there. Over here. Do you want to know something interesting? Something that's been all around you and couldn't live without? Now, I'm not talking about food or water. Can you guess it? Ha, maybe you'd have to Google it. Picking the idea up now? Yes, the World Wide Web. I'm here to tell you all about the World Wide Web and what about it that makes it so important and amazing in our society today. Around the 1980s, a British computer scientist, Tim Berners-Lee, realized that scientists were having trouble sharing information through the internet where he was working at the time. To bridge the gap of communication, Lee saw that he could exploit the connection of the internet by using a technology called hypertext, an electronic document that linked to other hypertext on the internet, able to go anywhere to anywhere. By 1989, Lee managed to invest in the idea of the web using the tools he developed that served to create the foundations of the web. They were hypertext markup language, uniform resource link, and the hypertext transfer protocol. Lee saw that the web had a huge potential and proposed that it would be free for anyone to use to contribute to its development. This led to early web communities to develop revolutionary ideas which brought about freedom, equality, innovation, and a universal mode of communication between cultures and beliefs. Now, I bet you're thinking, aren't they the same? The internet and the World Wide Web? Fact is, they aren't. The internet is the physical connection between computers connecting to each other to share information, file transfers, and email. The World Wide Web is a little bit different. The web is the virtual connection of particular computers called servers that are constantly connected to the internet, allowing it to store and share information. When we visit websites, it links and organizes the information of the website for access. Still a little confused? Think of the internet as the roads and highways on the networks. When we access it, the contents and information we send or receive are like cars, trucks, and bikes that are traveling from point to point. The web fits into this as being the buildings, shops, restaurants, and cafes that we pass by, except that they are web servers hosting the websites. So, by visiting one of these shops is the same as accessing the content from the particular website hosted by the server. Now just try to imagine what it would be like without roads of the internet that connect to the web servers providing us with the web. That would mean that data isn't able to be transferred, and we wouldn't be able to communicate with each other. The web as we know it has come a long, long way since its creation, and has surpassed its expectations being more than what it was supposed to be. We use the web nowadays as a source of information to gather news, read books, and online education courses. Development has allowed us to communicate more effectively through applications like blogs, and social media is letting us constantly and instantly share information with friends and the world. New developments in technology has also benefited the web, allowing hosting of programs and technologies that allow users to stream multimedia files, download, and upload. Even businesses have taken advantage of the web, setting up online websites and applications that allow the buyer to choose, purchase, and effectively complete transactions. Believe it or not, even though the web is almost 50 years old, it still has massive amounts of potential and even bigger room for development. The web is ever-changing and evolving, being utilized for almost anything and everything as of present. And as technology evolves, so will the web. Can you imagine what the web would be like in, say, 30 years? What kind of potential can it allow us to achieve with the technology that we would harness all the time? There is so much that we currently do not know even with the latest technology available. So while you're watching this, give a think. What if I were to be the one that changes the way the web works? Or even better, the amount of potential in you is almost as much as what the web has. Endless. So be the one that takes the step to innovation and go out and change the world.